dear friends i am dr k kannan professor mechanical engineering anjaleyamal magalingam engineering college kovil vinni and uh, happy to meet you uh, through the uh, video lecture series on the subject heat and mass transfer and uh, so this is lecture number 3 on heat exchanger uh, effectiveness ntu method so we are going to discuss the topic the heat exchanger design uh, using effectiveness ntu method so we recap from the previous lectures on the heat exchanger uh, we discuss the different types of heat exchanger uh, parallel flow counter flow uh, cross flow shell and tube heat exchanger cross flow uh, fin to heat exchanger boiler condenser etc and we discuss the lmtd method on the heat exchanger design and we solved a few problems on the lmtd method in the previous lecture so in this lecture we are going to discuss the effectiveness nt method uh, at the end of the lecture the student will be able to define the effectiveness of the heat exchanger and define what is the uh, ntu number of transfer unit and uh, uh, you will be able to explain the effectiveness into the method of uh, heat exchanger design uh, effectiveness in the method uh, there are two types of heat exchanger problem one is rating problem another one is sizing problem so rating problem uh, based on the given data calculating the uh, heat transfer rate and the fluid outlet temperature so the uh, hot fluid and the cold fluid outlet temperature we have to calculate and the heat transfer rate you have to calculate so you will be given the inlet temperature uh, uh, of the hot fluid and the cold fluid uh, moreover the lmtd method uh, we can conveniently apply uh, when all the four temperatures are known hot fluid inlet hot fluid outlet uh, cold fluid inlet and the cold fluid outlet temperature when all the four temperatures are given it is very easy to use the lmtd method uh suppose the in the problem you you are given only two inlet temperature inlet temperature the hot fluid and the inlet temperature the cold fluid uh, in that uh, case uh, the effectiveness nt method is uh, very much suitable to solve the problem so rating problem uh, we have to calculate the rate of heat transfer and the fluid outlet temperature and the sizing problem is concerned with the determination of heat transfer area Uh, for a given heat transfer duty here again we have to calculate the rate of heat transfer and the area for the heat transfer sizing size means the size of the heat exchanger that means the total heat transfer area uh, required for the heat exchanger and we define first the effectiveness of the heat exchanger so effectiveness epsilon equal to q by q max the actual heat transfer rate in a heat exchanger divided by maximum possible heat transfer the actual heat transfer we can calculate uh, uh, m m into cp into delta t for the hot fluid or the cold fluid so the mass into specific heat and the uh, temperature difference of the hot fluid or the cold fluid that from that equation you can calculate and the q max maximum possible heat transfer in the heat exchanger this is m cp minimum mass into specific heat of the fluid we have to calculate mass into specific heat Uh, among for the hot and the cold fluid among the two values which is the minimum value m into cp minimum into the maximum possible temperature difference so thi minus tci is the maximum possible temperature difference in the heat exchanger so the maximum heat exchanger maximum possible heat exchanger heat transfer equal to c minimum into thi minus tci so uh, c minimum into maximum possible temperature difference so from here epsilon definition of epsilon we can calculate the actual heat transfer q equal to epsilon into q maximum uh, that is equal to m uh, epsilon into c minimum into t h i minus t c so the heat transfer equal to epsilon the effectiveness of heat exchanger into the maximum possible heat transfer which is c minimum into t h i minus t c so you remember epsilon equal to effectiveness equal to q by q maximum and q maximum equal to uh, c minimum into t h i minus t c and the number of transfer unit ntu equal to ua by c minimum so u is the 
uh, overall heat transfer coefficient a is the area uh, c minimum is the minimum heat capacity of the two fluid so capital c minimum is the heat capacity so c equal to m into c2 so here the numerator is heat capacity of the heat exchanger divided by heat capacity of the flow so the number of transfer unit is the ratio of heat capacity of the heat exchanger to the heat capacity of the flow uh, numerically this is u a by c minimum and from this equation you may observe uh, higher the ntu uh, the size of the heat exchanger will be larger so the ntu is higher means numerator is higher so area of the heat exchanger will be uh, larger and uh, first we, the procedure for the uh, rating problem uh, first you have to calculate the heat capacity of the cold fluid which is cc into mc into cpc and uh, calculate the heat capacity of the hot fluid ch equal to mh into cph and uh, calculate the ratio of the uh, c minimum and the c maximum among the two value one will be minimum another will be maximum we have to find out the ratio c minimum by c maximum and the number of transfer unit we have to calculate ua by c minimum. and knowing the value c and the ntu uh, from the chart effectiveness ntu chart uh, you have to find out the effectiveness of the heat exchanger. Uh, we have different uh, chart for different configuration of the heat exchanger. We will see later. So, from the chart, we have to calculate the effectiveness. Once you have the effectiveness, you can calculate the, the heat transfer Q equal to F7 into C minimum uh, TH minus TCA. This we defined earlier. Uh, and from Q value, we can calculate the outlet temperature of the two fluid THO equal to TH minus Q by CH and TCO equal to TCI plus Q by CC. So, CH is the uh, heat capacity of the hot fluid and CC is the heat capacity of the cold fluid. So, from uh, the heat transfer, so first you have to calculate the heat transfer and then you have to calculate the uh, outlet temperature of the two uh, hot and the cold fluid steam. And the sizing problem, uh, from the data given, from the data given calculate the effectiveness of the heat exchanger. So, you can refer to the previous equation here, you have to calculate the effectiveness of the heat exchanger. So, knowing the effectiveness of the heat exchanger, then you have to calculate uh, the other value. So, calculate the C value, C minimum by C maximum. Now, based on the effectiveness and the C value, we have to determine NTU. The same chart, uh, we have to calculate the NTU, we have to find out the NTU now. Uh, knowing the NTU, uh, you can calculate area equal to NTU into C minimum divided by the U. So, the procedure going to be the same based on the given value, it may be a sizing problem or the rating problem. Uh, once you solve the problem, uh, you may understand the difference between the sizing problem and the rating problem. Now, the chart to calculate the effectiveness of the NTU, look at the chart, effect NTU is in the x axis, number of transfer units is in the x axis. And the effectiveness percentage is given in the y axis and the value, the line for different values of C minimum by C means. So, in the case of rating problem, uh, you have to find out, you will be, know, you, you will be knowing NTU and the, the C value ratio, C minimum by C maximum, you have to find out the effectiveness. In the case of sizing problem, you will be known, you will be given the effectiveness and the C ratio and you have to calculate the NTU. So, the, this, is, this chart is available on the uh, page number 163, uh, this is for the parallel flow heat exchanger and this is for count, simple counter flow heat exchanger, uh, it is available on the page number 164. So, the uh, uh, data, the chart is defined in a similar fashion, x axis NTU, y axis effectiveness and the different lines for the C minimum by C maximum ratio and this is the page number 165, uh, the effectiveness for one shell and the multiple tube passes, two, four, six uh, tube passes, there will be only one shell. If you have one shell, one shell heat exchanger, uh, you can refer to this page number 165 for either NTU or effectiveness. And this is for the two shell and multiple tube passes. Page number uh, 165 again, uh, you calculate the effectiveness of the NTU based on the data given. And this is the uh, cross flow heat exchanger both the fluid and mixed. Uh, effectiveness for the cross flow heat is both the fluid and mixed. Page number 166, uh, NTU and the effectiveness and C minimum by C maximum. And this is page number 167, 
for effectiveness of the cross flow heat exchanger once again one fluid is mixed and another fluid is unmixed so this is again uh, effectiveness ntu on the x axis and the effectiveness on the y axis this is page number 168 uh, for cross flow the effectiveness of the cross flow both the fluids are mixed type of heat exchanger and the effectiveness based on the data given you may find the effectiveness of the ntu and then you calculate the either the uh, outlet temperature of the two fluids or the heat transfer area either for rating problem or sizing problem and uh, these are all the reference books uh, what i referred for the lecture uh, you can uh, reach to this book for uh, further information on this particular subject and this is what the book what i published earlier uh, through the anuradha publications Uh, for more number of numerical examples you can refer to this book and the subject matter is also explained in a simple uh, manner for the beginner to understand and uh, if you have any queries on the subject you can write to my mail id uh, i will sincerely answer all your queries on this topic uh, thank you again uh, we'll meet once again